Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be a basic introduction to MATLAB. I'm going to use this video to show you some of the basic windows uh, in the MATLAB tool, kind of how it's laid out and what some of the features are. And then in subsequent videos I'll try to teach you some basic functionality like uh, plotting, working with variables, so on and so forth. So the first thing I want you to notice is that MATLAB is laid out in such a fashion that there's all these different windows. And all the windows are configurable, you can kind of change the way they're laid out. So there's this kind of element to MATLAB that you can customize the tool to, to suit your benefit. So uh, the, the, one of the most important ones is the command window that's down here. And the command window is a place where you can type commands directly into MATLAB. So for example, I can type in x equals 4. All right, And that's a command issued directly to MATLAB that ties the value 4 to the variable x. OK, now you can see that when I did that, over here in the workspace window, a new variable appeared. So the workspace is a, is a window that keeps track of all the variables that are currently in memory. And down here in the command history window, uh, this just shows you um, the previous commands that were typed. So I can come back here and now say something like y equals x plus 3. Okay, and now you can see I have a new variable in memory y. Its value is 7, which makes sense because it's 3 more than x. And I have a new command in my command history. Good. So those are the basic tools, uh, the basic windows uh, so far. And you can see I can move and resize them however I want. I can also do some pretty cool things. Uh, if you mouse over this up arrow here, you can undock the window and then pop it out of MATLAB altogether and just have it be its own floating window. And then you can uh, dock it back in if you like. There's this little right hand arrow. You can also minimize it. And that just sucks it up here onto the side. And then you can just. Um, uh, you can just look at it when you need it. Okay, so you can minimize it, and then you can put it back. So you have some you play around with this. You can kind of customize the tool the way you want. If you don't want to look at command history at all, you can just hit X. All right, you can exit out, and then then it's just gone. You don't have to look at it. If you want it back, you go to the desktop menu, and you say, I want my command history back, and there you go. So a lot of flexibility. Now over here, you have a window that's called current folder. Now, the current folder is important because it, it tells you where files will be saved or when you go to save them. It also tells you when you try to run files, uh, which folder MATLAB will look for them in. So first thing is, I don't want to use the default with, uh, folder that came up. So I'm going to change folder to some new folder where I'm going to save my files for this particular uh, task or assignment or whatever it is you're doing. So you see these three dots. I'm going to mouse over them. It says browse for folder. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the uh, desktop and I'm going to create myself a new folder called my temp folder. Okay, and that'll be my folder. All right, now you can see up here is my temp folder. And uh, over here, this is the contents of my temp folder and it's empty, which makes sense because, hey, we just made it. Good. So the final window that's pretty vital is the editor. All right, so here's why the editor is important. So let's say we're down here, we typed in x equals 4 and then y equals x plus 3. Now let's say we want to change the value of x. All right? So let's say we now come along and say, oh, x doesn't equal 4 anymore. Now x equals um, 2. So you come over here to the workspace and you can see that, sure enough, the value of x has been updated to 2. But what about the value of y? Okay. Down here in the command window, we specified that y was to equal x plus 3. Okay, but up here, y still equals 7. Okay, so in other words, MATLAB will only update the value of y when I come down here and type over again y equals x plus 3. Okay, you can see now that I, I executed that command again, y is updated to reflect the new value of x. So the problem with this is that uh, every time I change the value of x, now I've got to change, I've got to retype all the, the lines of code that depend on x. So in this case, I changed the value of x. I was then obliged to come and retype the y equals x plus 3 line of code, which gets pretty tiresome after a while, especially if you have hundreds and hundreds of lines of code. So the solution to that is that we're going to go to the editor, and I'm going to click New Script. And um, let's just resize this a little bit so we have some room to work. And um, now I can type my commands in here. The first command you type should always be clear. 
it clear, tells MATLAB to clear the memory. You always want to start a script with a, with a, a clean slate of variables. And then I can come along and say x equals 4, y equals x plus 3. Okay, now I'm going to save my script in my folder, my first script, save. Now you can see over here in the current folder is my first script. You know, this new folder is, this current folder uh, window is not really working for me. I'm just going to exit out. I'd rather just have the space. That's much better. Okay, now I can see over here I have this green arrow. I'm going to click it, and that's going to run my script. All right, so you can see I, I click run, and now you can see in my workspace the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 7. The advantage of this now is if, if I change my mind about the value of x, let's say now I want x to be 10, no problem. I just change the value of x to 10, and I run the script again, and the values are updated the way they're supposed to be. So again, the advantage now is I don't have to type the, retype the value of y, which is especially cool because if I now have another line of code that depends on um, that depends on y, y, for example, z equals y divided by, oh, I don't know, 4, okay? I don't have to keep retyping those lines over and over again. If I change x, everything just updates accordingly when I run the script, okay? So those are your basic windows. The last basic window that we're going to discuss is the figure window. So I'm going to come over here and type figure, and up pops a figure window. So in the next video uh, that you'll be able to see shortly, uh, when I make plots, they will occur. They will come up in the figure window. Um, you could have multiple figure windows. I'm going to dock this one for now, and I didn't like where it was docked. I'm going to drag it here. You can move all your your windows around wherever you want. You know, if you don't like your figure window here, you can put it here. Um, move it around there. You can kind of you just play around with it. You have a lot of options, but for now, I'm just going to park my figure window up there. And uh, that's the last window, is the figure window. All right. So that concludes the first video. And um, in the next video, I'll show you some basic plotting.